NBC's Christina Hager continues our live team coverage from Medford. And Christina, the team insists the system is safe, but you can understand why that woman and so many other people were worried. Yeah, this has T riders on edge. Wellington Station here has a rail yard where each train is inspected every few months. And T officials are telling us in this case, the train was last inspected less than a month ago. At that point, they say there were no problems. That was not the case this morning. For passengers going through the MBTA turnstiles today, confidence is shaky. Oh, I'm honestly really scared. Why do you say that? Because anything can happen. Um, anything. Like, I'm even wearing, like, sneakers in case I have to jump into a lake or something. Especially here on the Orange Line, where MBTA General Manager Steve Poftek stood outside Wellington Station and said something he's been criticized for not saying after so many previous mishaps. I want to offer my apology to the folks who were on that train. He also offered this explanation, what he called a one by six foot metal sill that runs along the lower side of the train came loose, hitting the third rail. It resulted in the sparking, the smoke, and uh, some limited ignition of materials on the underside of the train. It's a train that joined the T's fleet more than four decades ago, set to be replaced by a new one. But the recent record with the newest Orange Line trains has been spotty. Some just returned to service after being temporarily pulled in March and June to check problems with batteries and brakes. And obviously, today was just a colossal failure. And this is one of the reasons why um, I welcome the FTA to come in here. You worry about your safety when you're getting on a train? Well, my, my daughter texted me and said that there were people jumping off the bridge at the train in uh, by Encore. So, yeah, I guess <laughs> she was a little concerned. I remain confident in the safety of the MBTA. I took the orange line here. The situation that happened this morning wasn't safe, and I think we're going to do everything we can to prevent it from happening again. Poftak also says after this morning's fire, every other Orange Line vehicle was inspected, including the sills. No other problems were discovered. By the way, the Federal Transportation Administration and the NTSB both now involved in the investigation. At Wellington Station, Christina Hager, WBC News. Christina, thank you.